um, I'm blonde. What the flip is up to, Burns? If you guys watched my last video, you guys know that I'm a gamer now. I'm a gamer girl, I got an Xbox. I got a few games with my Xbox. One of those games happened to be called Life is Strange. And like I said in my last video, I bought that game ironically because I just wanted to make fun of it. It was about some angsty teens, angsty teens. All of you told me that I was gonna love this game. after the game was over and I was watching the credits with tears rolling down my cheeks, rethinking my whole life and all of my life decisions. Let me just explain to you what the game is. The game is about this girl named Max. Basically, Max figures out that she has a superpower and her superpower is, is she can time travel in the past. She can't go in the future. The game is all about, do you guys know what the butterfly effect is? It's like every choice you make in life has a consequence, but if you happen to make a different decision, your life could totally fucking change just from that one decision. Shit all got wonky when I, Maxine, reconnected with my old bestie, Chloe. So me, Maxine, I'm shy, cute, kinda awkward, loves to take pics with her Polaroid, but Chloe, my bestie, she's like an actual angsty rocker chick. Pretty sure she was in a band. And she just has all this baggage, all these issues. Her mom married this fucker, so her stepdad sucks. And here I am trying to reconnect with her, but apparently when my bestie Chloe's dad died, I moved away. I never called her, never texted her back. So when I reconnect with Chloe, she let me have it and it hurt. Cause she was like, where the fuck were you all these years? Now you want to be homies? And I'm like, I guess. I didn't know I did that. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No, you were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. So the first Life is Strange game is me and Max becoming friends again, and she puts me through some fuck shit. She was a horrible influence on me. The whole time I was playing this game, I'm like, I get that we're friends, but stop trying to make me do illegal shit. I just put up with it, I guess. The shit that I did in that game, what? I accidentally killed her drug dealer just by choosing shit. Didn't mean to do that. There was this girl that was missing and her name was Rachel. And Rachel was apparently Chloe's best friend when I moved away, but Rachel went missing and Chloe's freaking the fuck out. The whole game is me and Chloe trying to find Rachel. So there was like six chapters in the game and after each chapter, it shows you a world view of everyone across the world who play this game and it shows you the choices that everyone makes. I was looking through the stats and I was in a lot of the low Lower percentages. I'm like, what the fuck? I suck at this game, apparently. Apparently, I have no good judgment. I started playing Life is Strange Before the Storm, and that's a whole new game. In this game, we're in Chloe's perspective, and this is before Max moved back and they reconnected. So this is when Chloe was just by herself going through it after she lost her dad. And then this is where she meets Rachel before Rachel dies. So this whole game is about her and Rachel's crazy friendship. I made them fall in love. There's only three chapters to this game and I played two already. 
So there's one chapter left. And I was gonna finish the game by myself and I'm like, y'all need to see this. I knew Rachel like around school cause she was the popular like valid Victorian on the honor roll. For some reason she just randomly turned cool. She comes up to me one day and she was like, do you wanna get out of here? In my head I'm like, why the fuck are you talking to me? And she was like, let's just dip class. And I was like, Rachel skipping class? What kind of simulation am I in? And she was like, oh my God, stop. I'm not that lame. So then we skip class, we jump on a train. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. We're playing two truths and a lie. Two truths and a lie. I'm like flirting with her and she's flirting back. And I'm like, this is cool. Cause she's like hot. I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. We end up at this park. It's like a lookout. On the trail, there was a little telescope. And if you looked in it, you could see people in the park below you. So we're looking in the telescope. It's like an older guy and this younger girl. And they're like making out. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. And me being Chloe, because I'm like funny and quirky, I'm making fun of them. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. And then all of a sudden, she steps away from the telescope and she was like, I need to get drunk. I need to get drunk. And I was like, what? The vibes were so good. What the fuck? And she gets all weird. I'm like, okay. Are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? We haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. Be my guest. How gracious of you. So then we stole these people's wine bottle. They were just picnicking peacefully just so Rachel can get drunk because she suddenly hates me. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No, fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right, I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> Ugh. Oh my god! Hey, wow! I'm all better now. You saved my life. Thank you. Good work, everyone. Peace out. We're getting drunk or whatever. All of a sudden, she gets really pissed at me. And I didn't do anything. And I was like, Rachel, what the fuck? We were having such a good day. Why are you so mad at me? I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I'm sorry for whatever I did or didn't do. Today was the best day I've had since, since my dad died. And I screwed it up somehow. Like I screw everything up. And she was like, I just don't want to be your friend. I'm sorry, Chloe, but I can't be your friend right now. Can't or don't want to. Does it matter? And I was like, what the f why? What did I do, bitch? And she won't tell me. And it was so frustrating. And all of a sudden, she just walked away. I'm really sorry. Goodbye, Chloe. We're in the middle of nowhere. How are you gonna get home? And I'm like, did I come on too strong? You were flirting with me back. What? If I would have known, I wouldn't have flirted. Like, what is going on, bitch? So when she walked away, I was so mad. I was having such a good day. Fuck you. I could feel it. I'm sitting there on my bed just like, what the fuck? What the fuck did I do? And then my character, Chloe, she sees a junkyard. She takes a bat from the junkyard. And she's smashing shit. And I'm controlling it. I'm smashing shit. I'm like, yeah, throw that wine bottle. Beat up that car. I've never understood your hard on for camera snacks. You take a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. I was like, okay, I gotta start walking home because it's late and my mom is blowing up my phone. Also, 
My mom and I have a terrible relationship. She's married to this fucker after my dad died and he sucks. And she's blowing up my phone being like, Chloe, your principal called. He said they skipped school. And I was like, fuck this bitch. I'm walking back because I need to figure out if I can hop on a train or some shit. And I see Rachel in the dark. So I go up to Rachel and she's still fucking crying. And I'm like, bitch, you're still here? And she was like, yeah, I knew you'd come. And I'm like, ugh, why are you crying? And she basically said, You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. Oh, all right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. So we basically just caught her dad cheating. And I was like, First of all, I'm so sorry. Second of all, why didn't you just tell me that? <laughs> I'm like comforting her through this and she pulls out a picture of her and her dad that she keeps in her wallet. Takes a lighter and burns it. And I'm like standing in the back and I'm like, yeah, do what you gotta do. Yeah, fuck your dad. But also like be careful with that fire because we're like in a forest. But she was so angry and frustrated in her own tunnel vision of being like, fuck my dad. And she threw the picture away in the trash can. And kicks the trash can over. And I'm standing are you 12? Like, I get that you're so pissed at your dad. I get the frustration. But homie, you could have just ripped it and threw it away. Was the fire necessary? Because now the fucking trash can fell over and guess what? There was a tree right next to her. So now we started a fucking forest fire. And by the way, this whole game is placed in Oregon, which is weird, because I'm from Oregon, and the Oregon forests are beautiful. No wonder I'm tripping in the background. I'm like, bitch, be careful, but also fuck your dad. So I don't want to tell you what to do, because you're going through it right now. Please, let's not start a forest fire and we did so that was the first fuck shit that she like got me involved in but then once we started that forest fire we somehow got away long story short we got suspended and my parents are fucking pissed at me you are expelled what no from now on i will be assisting your mother in a few areas like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol then I say, go fuck yourself. Me and Rachel decide that we're gonna run away from home because fuck my parents and fuck her parents. <laughs> Let's leave. For real. Rachel, stop. It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! Chloe, what would it take to convince you? How about, um, oh. Is that convincing enough? Yeah. Me and Rachel are in love because I chose to make out with her. And so Rachel's like, let's go over to my house. I'll pack my bags and we can run away tonight. My parents will be sleeping by the time we get there. So we get to her house and we walk through the door and we're like sneaking in and her mom is in the kitchen. It's dinner time. Why would they be asleep and why did I believe that? But then her mom's like, come on, please stay for dinner. And then Rachel's looking at me and she's like, yeah, like stay for dinner. And I'm like, where the fuck am I? This is horrible. I hate it here. This tension is terrifying. I know your husband's cheating on you, but I couldn't be rude. So I'm like, okay, but only for Rachel. And we're sitting at dinner and the tension between Rachel and her father was thick. And her dad went on like an ethical rant. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never ever 
taken for granted. And I'm sitting there at the table, like flicking around my fork, like all anxious, because I'm like, You're a fucking hypocrite. Rachel's mom notices me just sitting there going crazy. And then Rachel's mom was like, Chloe, sweetie, are you okay? And then it gave me the option to not tell Rachel's mom that she's being cheated on or to tell her. And I was sitting there as the player. Someone needs to tell her. And if it's not Rachel, what's the harm if I do it? Like, I know it's none of my business, but I'm playing a game, so I'm like, fuck it. Fuck this guy. After this whole rant about ethics, I'm like, no better time to do it than now and shut him down. So I clicked tell the mom. And then that whole rest of the dinner conversation was just, it was mostly Rachel like crying and screaming and freaking out. You lying, cheating, Piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? The dad denying it. And then the mom is just sitting there just like <laughs> And I'm just I'm just like, should I go? So I was just watching this bullshit go down and I'm like, damn, I just broke up a family. But Rachel was gonna do it, but like it was taking too long, so I just sped up the process. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? That's kind of where we left off. I bought a headset, because I'm a dweeb. I bought a PC, so I can play this game and show you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is who I am during quarantine. Rachel. Cheater. That woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. That was her real mom. And she thought the other bitch was her mom the whole time. Crazy. Blindsided. What the fuck do you do in that situation? I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Yes. She's my girlfriend. Grab my hand, bitch. Of course. <laughs> in every way that matters, So Rose is my wife and your mother, but the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your... Her name happens to be Sarah. Th this is new information. This is new. I... Of course her fucking name is Sarah. Are we kidding? I'm dragged into everything. I hate it here. So I just screwed up my daughter's life. Great. How are you even supposed to process that bullshit? Thinking one lady is your mom your whole fucking life? Turns out it's some other bitch named S What? What if Barb isn't my mom? This game got me thinking, you know? What? Okay, that was the telescope we looked I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Oh, everything shit. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? What? I'd be so mad. How is she so calm? I have so many questions. Chloe. Okay. My first big decision... If I put you can handle this, <laughs> that'd be so fuck. You can handle it. I'll just sit back here. <laughs> I'll just sit on the couch. Fuck, obviously I'm gonna push. I'm here. I'm here for you. I'm right here. I'm always Good. here for you. I'm here for everyone. You. Is anyone there for me, though? Alright, so I'm moving. Fuck. Alright. Use R to move the camera. Where the fuck is R? <laughs> Where? Wait, what? Oh, I have to push A first. <laughs> I was like, I'm pushing R. Oh my god, I'm nervous. This is so intense. You have sweaty palms, Rachel. <laughs> you have clammy hands. Fuck, I'm nervous. Why is my heart beating? <gasps> Why? When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. She's hot. Her teachers, her friends. That's him? Ew. Sarah was everyone's favorite. 
Every boy. Ew, he's so not cute. Her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. What is that outfit? Sometimes. I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Actually, I think that's something that I would wear in high school. Courtship. Oh, fuck. This is cool. She was so alive. So passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. T. Wait, that's so sad. The rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. Okay, true. She was <laughs> looking for escape. Why is she me? Why is that literally me? <laughs> Everything that he just described is me. Parenthood. Oh, so they did have a kid? But he knew that... When Sarah became pregnant... I'm confused. I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Uh, okay. Becoming your father is the greatest moment of my life. You don't have to wear that cap. There was so much love. Do you? I was still blind. He looks like he was the nurse. <laughs> Did he deliver the baby? Wait, okay. He was still blind. Alright, what's up? What happened? However much she loved you then. I don't like this. Enough. Whoa. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. But you knew she had issues. You know what I'm saying? Oh god, is that Over heroin? A year. I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. Oh, she was doing heroin. No matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. This is dark. I'm telling y'all. Rock and roll. I her shirt. What's wrong? Eventually, I saw her. For who she really was. Wait, but like... A destructive person. I'm just confused. Because he said, like, when they were dancing and shit, the courtship, he knew that there was some shit going on. Why would you have a baby with her? Maybe he forgot to wear a condom or some shit. Did they get married? Who cares? You don't have to be married to have a kid. You knew, like, you knew. But also, maybe he did. I don't fucking know. It's a game. Someone who could never be satisfied. <sighs> Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So oh I God. made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. But you're just telling me now? Bitch, I'm 17. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that was the right decision. Wait, am I going in the right way? Okay. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel? It was true, we kissed. Mm. The saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss. Goodbye. I told her. And I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. But Not why did you... She'd done. Like, why but would you... All People Why did you have a baby with her? All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. But yeah, I get that. The chance to be your mother. I get that. That's sad. And she squandered it. Cute it tat. pained me to hurt her like that. So it wasn't somehow. 
and it wasn't again, somehow. And again. To keep You know they're fucking. You know they're fucking in the trees. They're fucking. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> That's what I say. Girl, Rachel. So that was you know the first fucking. time you've okay. seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. Nah, they're fucking. They're fucking. I send her money. Oh. Every single month. And we're fucking on the low. It's our arrangement. What? Why? But now she wants to see me? Yes. Why are you sending her money? Why is that an arrangement? What? <laughs> like you like you know she does drugs. Why would you send what? I don't get it. But Rachel, it cannot be. What? Why do I have to choose? Why am I even talking? Why do I even have to This is none of my business. Who says it's your decision or why not? Fuck, I forgot what he said. What do you even say? Oh fuck, what? Fuck. Why not? Who says it's your decision? I don't want to be nasty. I'll say why not. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is mm. a disease. Then why are you giving her it money? Everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Why are Even you getting- that's true, okay. Rachel could still meet her. And maybe- the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. She's pref... Mm. But why are you giving her money? That's my question. Like... She's saying, either give me money, or I'm seeing my daughter? What if she met her daughter and then realized she didn't need the drugs? Why would you continue giving- I don't know, man. That's- that's tricky. That's tricky. It's free to rock around, to rock around, it's right on time, it's tricky. <laughs> that's what I do <laughs> as Chloe. <laughs> I just start singing that. It's free to rock. This is not a laughing matter. Oh, I got a group chat. Okay, Dana. Who's Dana again? Wait, fuck, it's going too fast. Wait, can y'all chill? I can't even, I don't even. Oh my god. Stop talking. I didn't even think about the fact that my her mom's name is Sarah and then Rachel that's literally me and my sister what the shit this game I'm telling you I am this game <laughs> do I talk to the fucking mom what's the tea this game gives you like no objective actually let me look at my wrist <laughs> oh <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it actually does give you objective. Okay. Um, I don't fucking know where this bitch is. Okay, Rachel, let's go. Way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Press and hold down LT to view your objective. Okay, I know that now. Be here. For okay, it's still the same shit. Um. So she just said, show that you're here for her, okay? Um, I'm nosy. What? Why did I open that? Okay, I just need to like lay there with her or some shit. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. <sighs> Fuck. Put a blanket. What? What am I supposed to fucking do now? Oh, I'll turn the night light on. Yeah. That's comforting, right? Yes. This light needs more light. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. 
I thought it was okay, but all right. Um, all right. Let's see what we can fucking do. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Dinky? What does that mean? Drawer, I guess. Let's look through the drawer. Let's go through her personal things. Oh, flashlight. Okay. Are we about to get all DIY and crafty? <laughs> My mom just texted me. Fuck. Um, fuck. I'm scared. I'm scared of my mom in this game. We do not have a good relationship. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, so she said, Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home. Doesn't matter that it... Doesn't matter that it's after curfew. Mom, I can't right now. <laughs> mom, I can't. Please. Ugh. Her mom wants a relationship with Chloe so bad, but I just kind of suck in this game because she's dating that dickhead. But she's like a nice lady and she's trying, but like, fuck my stepdad. <laughs> okay, now what? What is the flashlight gonna fucking do? Try it. Try it. But I'm about to get all DIY Portland, Oregon up in this bitch. Let's do it. Oh, okay. I see. Alright. That's cool. That's a good idea. Me. All ready for <laughs> Rachel's light show. <laughs> Better get her attention first. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. <laughs> Fuck, I'm so mean. It's a video game. I'm fine. Eh. This is fun. Oh my god, I'm so cute. Look at me. I care. I give a fuck. Look, Rachel. Hey. It's the galaxy. Check it out. Yes, queen. Oh my god, I actually just ordered one of those on Amazon. <laughs> it gets here tomorrow. Beautiful. I it. thought you might like it. The vibes. I've always loved stars. You're Why? unique. It reminds us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. Oof. Exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead Facts. for millions of years. Wait, that's so They're sad. All lies. Fuck. <laughs> if I just said stars suck, stars fuck it. You know what? Rachel, you're right. Just because they're dead stars... Stars fucking suck. Even though they're the most beautiful things that we can see in the night sky. You know what? Stars do suck. I'm not gonna fucking say that shit. That's so insensitive. They're still beautiful. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't know. If they're not even Oops. real, then what's the point? Damn. Girl. It's all lies. Everything. My entire Girl. life. Yeah. My dad. Yeah. <laughs> My mom. Mm. If I can even call her that anymore. Mm. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I think fuck, you're the fuck. only one in the world I can trust. Oh, shit. That's some pressure. Um... <laughs> I'm honored? 
I'm not going to say maybe. You're the only one I can trust. Maybe. Like, what? I'm not hiding anything, am I? I have to say I'm honored. I wouldn't say that in real life, though. Would I? I guess I would. I'm honored. It means a lot. Ugh, it does mean a lot. I'll take it. Yeah. Even if it's only by process of elimination. Damn. Good. Damn. <laughs> Make out. I wore this bracelet my entire life. Mm. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> Whose bracelet is that again? That. I think it's her dad. My real mother was oh. gone. Wait. I have the option to leave? Fuck. <laughs> I mean... Whenever it gives me the option to leave, the combo's over. So I can, or else it'll just show this montage. That feels like a really weird place to just, you know, get up. I want them to cuddle for a minute. Feel my vibes, feel my healing power. I am here for you. Okay, I'ma leave. Love you though. Do I sound nasally? This mic makes me sound so she like came here. Amazing. Okay. For me. What? I think I need to see her. Yeah. Is that wrong? No. Why would I say I don't know? Of course you need to see her. That's your mom. Bruh. Of course not. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah. Mm. That's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. Don't involve me in this. But what if we can't find her? Actually... It's not like I can ask my dad. Oh, fuck. I have no idea where to start. Fuck. <laughs> I've got this or I've got an idea. If I just say I've got this without explaining a plan, I'm an idiot. So I've got an idea. I don't know what that idea is, but I got one. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. Oh, you that's right. Okay, so I went to go see my drug dealer. <laughs> Because I owed him money. As I was walking to his trailer, I saw the same woman who was making out with Rachel's dad come out of the trailer. As I was about to walk in, she comes right out. But it turns out that woman was her birth mom. Now I gotta go back to Frank, my drug dealer, and get her info. Damn. Out of all the drug dealers, you had to hit up my guy. All right. I guess that gives me some, like... Okay. I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get I'm to I'm drunk. <laughs> kind of, not really. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. For a what? For a ride? Oh, I think, she, yeah, I think she said ride. I've got that one too, where I think I can handle it. I'll just say I... <laughs> Fuck, I've got that one too. Is so like, I got it. But then I think I can handle that. Is like, maybe I can. Because I just found that truck at the junkyard. I don't know how to make it start. But I know that I could if I really figured it out. But I think. I'm not going to let her know that it's like 100%. So I'm going to say I think I can handle it. I think I can handle it. I think. I I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. Yes. <laughs> really? Really? I'll give it my best. You got it. I'm smart. I know you will. I can do it. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? You'll know. You'll know what to say. When you're right in front of her, you'll fucking know. 
after my dad died. Oh, shit. I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, I always know what to say. Talking to his when spirit? When you speak, in my dreams. Oh, in my dreams. He's there. That makes sense. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. Damn. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. About what? <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that yes. means they're real. Yeah. To us. Yes. Yes, queen. Right? Get that right. positivity, girl. That's what I'm talking about. No more of that pessimistic shit. No more of that nihilistic shit. What is this? Um, huh? Okay, that's my dad. And I'm dreaming. And I'm in my costume from the play that I was just in. Those are my... That's my mom and my stepdad, my principal. Dad, I think we're stuck. What the fuck? Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When you For context, her dad died in a car accident. Are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Oh my god. I'm just going to say your memories. What? what? Your we never... That wasn't you. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. That was my stepdad. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What? <laughs> what? Getting out of the car. Wait, this is so weird. What is going on? Uh, What's wrong? Um, Don't you see anything? What? Like, wh what? I guess I can just put here it is. Because, like, why not? Fine. It's... It's a spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. That means that I picked the wrong one. Love supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. What? Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Oh. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. I actually don't. I'm gonna say the world's a stage? Question mark? Something about the whole world being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. <clears throat> I just want to be myself. Aww. <laughs> Me with the audience? Give me a break. Aww. Well, hmm. fuck. That well, was sad. Maybe there's a reason we pretend. <laughs> maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Bruh. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. It's all pretend, right? Right. No! Just a bit of stage magic floodlights sound effects chloe look at me bruh look at me sweetheart it's going to be okay 
Panic attack. Yep. See, the semi truck always comes. So sad. So sad. So sad. Damn. Fuck. That's what I'm. Dude, this game fucks you up. It's so emotional. She's sneaking in at like 8 a.m. Wait. What the shit? What the shit? <laughs> Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait. Excuse me? David? My stepdad? Motherfucker. Oof. Fuck David. Let's fuck him up. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. Let's beat his ass. I've gotta help Rachel. No, let's beat okay. his ass. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. I hate that her name is He might Sarah. also be totally pissed about Nice David's razor money. phone. I've got to get this exactly right. Oh. For context. Okay, there was this kid that was on the football team at my school who bought a lot of drugs from my drug dealer. It was like a thousand dollars worth of drugs and the dude from my high school didn't pay the drug dealer back yet. And so the drug dealer hit me up and was like, I know you go to his school. Can you get me that money from him? Cause I really need it. And if you get me that money, sorry, I'm like burping. If you get me that money, I'll let you keep a hundred dollars of it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm down because I need that $100 to move away with Rachel and like run away to LA, $100. But, oh my God, I go into his dorm room and he's not in there. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna snoop around, find the money, it was $1,000. And as I'm leaving, just some fuck shit happens. And I realized that the high school Danielle, dude who owed the money, money. was saving that man. money for his dad's hospital bills because his dad was diagnosed with something. And I had that money in my pocket trying to like slide away from him and give that money to my drug dealer so I could keep some of it and run away with Rachel. But then after he told me that he was using that money for his dad's hospital bills, I had the options of like, don't say shit, keep the money, get away, just pretend you were just like in his room looking for him for something else, or give him the goddamn money back, and I'm a good person. So I gave him the money back, and now Frank, my drug dealer, is pissed at me, because I didn't end up leaving with the money. So I'm scared right now to hit up Frank about Sarah, because I know Frank's about to bitch at me, for not getting the money from that kid. Shit's messy, but whatever. Doing it. I can do this. I can do this. Christ. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? Where's the money? I can explain because I did have a valid excuse. So, I can explain. So, uh, the situation was a lot more complicated than you told me. Yes. What are you talking about? Frank's pissed. I promise I can explain. I I have a favor to ask you first. Yes. You can't be fucking serious. Just explain first, bro. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Just explain first, Sarah. bro. Frank? What the hell for? <laughs> Something important. What the hell for? Can you help? I'm helping a friend or it would mean a lot to me. See, these answers are so kind of the same. Oh my god, but if I said it would mean a lot to me, he would be like, well, you fucked me over. But if I said I'm helping a friend, he would be like, well, you didn't help me the other day. I'm gonna just say it would mean a lot to me. Fuck it. Fuck it. I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client. Remember? Oh my god, fuck. Wait, I regret that. In the junkyard in two hours. Oh, wait. He's down. Oh, sweet. He's down. Thanks, man. Maybe that was You're the right real. thing. Oh, but he hung up that on my ass. Well, I okay. guess. Okay. It's all good. It's all good, bitch. Get your shit together. What am I getting myself into? Literally me this whole game. 
What the fuck am I getting myself into? I just got a text okay. though. Hold up. Thank you for being there for me last night. I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, what? I just can't believe that I said, guess what, after, thank you for being there for me last night, I'm feeling a lot better. I should have said, of course, Rachel, I'm always here for you no matter what. Wow. Hmm, I'm a good kisser? Okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he can get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Oof, let's make out. Okay, let's shower. Is mom playing music? Huh. She never plays music. Can everyone stop texting me? I'm so overwhelmed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. What did I do to her again? I'm genuinely confused. Uh, oh. This is just the beginning, bitch. So I was right all along. Rachel Amber is a fucking evil bitch. I've had it with this school. Nobody gave a shit about me last night. It was all Rachel Amber. Oh, oh, this is what I fucking did. Rachel had the lead role in the play. Then she got suspended after we ditched school. And Rachel was like, what the fuck? the play is tomorrow night and then he was like i don't give a fuck you're not allowed to do the play because you skip you skipped class and then victoria was the understudy and she's an evil hoe we don't like victoria but she was the understudy for rachel amber rachel drugs victoria's drink right before the play so then victoria passes out rachel went to the fucking director of the play and was like oh my god victoria passed out looks like i have to do the play and now victoria's pissed at me because i did the play too because another person didn't show up so she thinks that me and her both had something to do with it when i had no idea that rachel drugged this bitch i had no idea but victoria's pissed because she got drugged I've had and I get that that's very valid but we hate Victoria I guess that's just the worst fuck you Chloe okay I don't care I need to take a shower is that David's towel where the hell is mine so get a new one okay my towel's probably in here. Why is my mom playing this fucking score? Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Anyway, let's take a fucking shower. Ready for the best shower of my life. Why do we have to watch this? I feel weird. I don't want to watch myself take from like a third person perspective like I'm literally her. I don't like that. I don't like it. I feel like I'm invading her privacy. <laughs> uh, should I look away? Okay, she's out. This still feels really invasive. This is so invi- like, this is a video game? Oh. What? William is my dad. William is my boyfriend's name. Why is everyone in my life in this goddamn game? Anyway. Why does my dad have to be named William? Like, are you fucking kidding me? I need to get dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. I hate when I have to do tasks. <laughs> like, I forget this is a video game sometimes. And I'm like, oh yeah, I have to like figure out how to do shit. Okay, downstairs Here toolbox. Goes. Uh, not to like. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? Your mom is a sweet lady, bitch. Just talk to her. Oh, she's like happy. <laughs> I'm flipping them over. 
<laughs> Not yet. I told you three minutes each side. They're this is when she realizes. Burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mom's like a person who's allowed to no, fall in love. No, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. Mom Stop. actually looks pretty happy right now. Thank you, bitch. Thank you, bitch. Hey, who's there? Uh, hey, who's there? Hey, Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? It's I cool. I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. Stop being weird. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Can you just love your mom? Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. What? Why are these my only options? What if I want to be nice? I'm going to say I'm not staying long because that's the nicer option, but like, fuck. I'm... I'm not staying long. This is so Just... angsty. <laughs> Picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I, I don't know. She just wants I you home. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. She just wants to be in your life. I want to be more honest with my mom. So I'm going to say hanging out with Rachel. Because I just want our relationship to get better. I'm... I'm just hanging out Oh, with fuck, Rachel. but she's going to run oh. away. I How forgot about Rachel? that. I forgot about that. I was telling David about the play and you being in it. Fuck, I'm about to run away? I really gotta go. Listen, <sighs> For wait. my mom? Before you go, David has something to say to you. Oh, shit. Of course he does. Right it when I'm trying to run away. It won't take but a minute. Fuck, man. Mom. I'm gonna want to stay. Because they're being nice to me. If they were being mean to me, then I would want to run away, but like, they're really trying. I don't think this is the they're really best trying. idea. You already promised. Oh shit. <sighs> Fuck. Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you. Oh shit. <laughs> really? Oh shit. What does that mean? It means that oh, shit. from today forward, oh, shit. I'm going to take you at your word. So, if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. The Fuck. idea is... You Fuck. should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. Damn. But he did search my motherfucking room. Fuck, my battery's gonna die. Fuck. I gotta tell him what's up. He searched my goddamn room and I know it, homie. I know you did that. So don't even try coming at me with like, I trust you. You search my goddamn room. Okay, this is where I'm going to stop. If you guys like this video, <laughs> it's four in the morning. You know what I mean? I have to go to bed. And you think I'm kidding? You think I'm lying? Bitch. <laughs> right on the dot. It's four in the morning and I need to go to bed. So I hope you guys like this shit. I know it's super new and I'm like a gamer. <laughs> And this is like really weird content coming from me, but I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. In the next episode, you will get to see how David, my stupid stepdad, reacts to me calling his bullshit out. So that'll be interesting. And we'll get to see if I really do run away with Rachel. Do I run away with Rachel or do I let my parents guilt trip me into staying home? 
and abiding by their stupid rules. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Love you. Mm-hmm.